welcome to game on a bright saturday morning and i had pre-planned to spend the entire day gaming well i also had to go to office which means that i have come here to icat on work on official duty but the entire day is going to be dedicated to gaming it's going to start with 10 year old kids learning how to design a game and lots of them lots of kids participating for a lot of action games Before we could engage ourselves in the speeding cars of Split Second or heavy warfare of Counter Strike, we were taken to a class. In South India, many uh, students doesn't know what actually happens in the game industry, how to develop games. So just to tell them what, uh, just to make them aware of what is there in game industry, we just made this uh, event and especially in my workshop, I just taught them uh, how to develop a simple 2D game with a very very basic knowledge in programming they can do with it. But when it comes to a game fest, even long lectures are capable enough of giving a gamer the blood rush that he craves for. This fest had begun on a jolly note for 10-year-old kids who were learning how to design a game. The objective was simple, to design a 2D game that had a man walking to his house, avoiding falling stones. But it gave the kids such confidence that they were raring to go back home and design a more sophisticated game on their own. This is a nice opportunity. They are teaching us how to play games and make games. They are with us and helping us. So it's a nice opportunity. They teach us in an easy manner. It was a useful, for, it was a useful program for us. Sure, surely it will help us. I'll go home and I'll create adventurous games like this. It will be easy. But all work and no play makes Kali a dull boy. So I soon headed to the various tournaments that had gamers pouring in from all sections of the city. So apart from racing games, what kind of games do you play? I play all type actually. I don't care about what game it is, I just like to have fun while playing. Now, now that you've, you've crossed the semi-final stage, you're looking forward to the finals, are you going to prepare, you're going to, what, what, what are you thinking right now? I'm just thinking it's a, like, I never thought I'd make it through. I don't know, no words. Okay, and how was the competition at this level? Did you think that you would win it? I had no clue I would win. I thought I'd get out in the first round, I and mean, I'm not that good at games. <laughs> We are not sure if Pratik was the youngest of them all, but he surely was the fastest that day as he raced his way to the pole position to achieve glory in split second. The next up was something that required more of physical labour than racing a car, Wii Tennis. I've just witnessed a fascinating game of tennis on Wii and I'm here in iCat and I have the two competitors here with me who are John and Kevin. Now who won? Kevin won. Kevin won. Alright, now Kevin, what was going on? Is this the semi-finals, qualifying rounds? What, what's going on? Actually, uh, it's the semi-finals now and uh, I just thought of playing it normally. Alright, so this was the semi-finals which means that you have won the semi-finals and you are in the final now. Are, are you scared? Not like that. Uh, I think so. Little bit. Okay. Now, now, where do you guys practice your Wii tennis? You are you're in school. You're in eleventh class. So, where do you do you have? Do you go to a gaming parlor regularly? How do you practice your tennis? We don't go regularly, but we go and during Saturdays and we go at Satyam Sama's blur. And and finally, how did you come to know of this competition here? Who told you there was a competition going on in iCat and and what what's happened? Uh, we had an uh, thing article on the notice board in our school, so we came to know like. The iCat Fest was not only a prize fest for talented gamers from all over the town, it was also successful in creating an awareness about how gaming can be considered as a serious career option. Last time we did an event just for the college students so that they will know about the gaming industry. This time we targeted the school students so that they will also know what's this game all about, the game industry and about the courses we offer for games. 
and the, the, uh, this time today uh, we have like planned for like many events like seminar and many other competitions like game events which includes like split second counter strike and all uh, console games And that's definitely not all the gaming that I've done this week. There's lots more. I'll head in for a short break. When I come back, I have the review of the week.